Look, look, look. Syrian-Iraqi borders are desert porous borders. You don't, you go there, you don't have, you know, you, you can't tell where is the Syrian, where is the Iraqi territory. And time and again, yes, we do understand the Americans did infiltrate into what we consider Syrian territories. But we were, we always, we always gave them the benefit of the doubt and we told ourselves probably they just didn't know that they were into Syrian territories. And we didn't make a big deal about it. But the unprecedented thing was the, the actual killing of 11 Syrian civilians. We thought that that was a, a criminal act. Now, that was a terrible crime. It was a terrorist attack by armed people against 11 civilian armed Syrians, Americans. armed individuals. You don't know that they're American special forces? Most probably they were Americans. Most probably they were Americans. Actually, they were Americans, but... I mean, we did not capture them, so we don't have the, the, <laughs> the body of the proof. What they did is they flew over a Syrian village in Al-Bukamal. They started shooting at these Syrian families, villagers that probably have never, ever heard of Al-Qaeda. They were totally defenseless. They did not even have a knife to defend themselves. They killed them Rambo-style from the helicopters. Once they were all dropped on the, on the ground, they came down, they disembarked, and they were moving a, among the bodies, checking each body, and then completing the mission by, by, by shooting the bodies. The United States never, ever came back with an explanation. You know, when you kill 11 people, at least you explain why you killed them. The, the Bush administration was so dismissive about the, the issue, they, they did not even bother to make a communique. To, even to explain, even to say, we thought it was Abu Ghadi, and then we discovered it was not. We, we are not even asking for a sorry from them. We don't expect a sorry from them. What are 11 Syrian individuals as compared to the many thousands of Iraqis that were killed? But, but it gives you the attitude. You go into another country, you kill people, you leave. You don't even bother to explain. 